Six months ago, the John Lynns moved into their Spring Valley home. It was special and new to them. It was twice the size of their old home, but more especially, it's a solar house. And after six months, the sun is still shining in Spring Valley. Rooftop collectors covering 460 square feet capture the sun and that makes the solar climate control system work. It heats and cools the 2,600 square foot home. And a rooftop instrument lets engineers measure the sun. SDG&E's Bill Gary explains how it is used. Okay, it's called the pyranometer and uh, it reads out in BTUs per square foot and what we can do is we can figure out exactly how many BTUs falls on a square foot in this area any given day and we can determine how much the solar system has actually uh, collected in, in a given day. Gary says at the end of two years he expects the project data collected will stretch more than a mile but already the experiment is paying off. Uh, we've learned we can <laughs> we can make a lot of hot water I tell you. <laughs> a lot higher than we thought we were and uh, I think that uh, solar systems combined with an off-peak feature really has a lot of potential. I think the system has is, is functioned the way it would be expected to function. There, you know, there's been enough sun that the backup system hasn't uh, needed to be used, and so we've been able to store enough uh, hot water so that we haven't felt any kind of a crunch because of the weather. Out here in Spring Valley, it's pretty hot. The temperature sometimes climbs above 100. How about your air conditioning? Have you used that? Yes, we used it a few days uh, when it was very hot, around 100 degrees, as you said. And uh, the house was quite comfortable at about 76 degrees. SDG&E's Bob Ladner, project manager for the house, says the system is designed to cut peak load demand for electricity. The backup systems won't fire up during the hours most people want to use power. Jim Gordon, TV8 News, at a solar house in Spring Valley.